this game is uh, very well designed from a, a story, you know, storytelling perspective. There's a lot of foreshadowing, and if you don't know what to look for, you can miss it. It's kind of like if you do a second playthrough of Set of Years, you'd be like, oh, that, that was a uh, uh, foreshadow of that. Don't act so surprised. Didn't you forget something important? You know, it's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that. Yeah. Sorry. I was just thinking about something. Right there, that's actually very plot relevant and important. Are you alright? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm just not myself today. But uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, I'm not telling you. Alan, thanks for stepping in back there. Ah, uh, no. I, I should have spoken to the new guy earlier. So. You don't need to thank me. But it would really help if you would try to understand their feelings more. I, I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. It's just that I... Chief... The incident, right? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry, that's not quite it. It also sets up a lot Forget of about uh, it. mysteries. It's nothing. That's very plot relevant. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh, who could that be? More Realian maintenance? They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? I mean, there's just oh, so much that's not relevant. I don't want to brush them off. Besides, it. it's on the way, and I've got some time. See ya. Oh. Ugh. I forgot to ask her out after work. And no, I don't need to tell you that Alan has a crush on Xi'an. I figured that out by this point, so I don't want to tell you. So, uh, I should bring the reality and service aid with me. I think I left it in my room. I better go get it. Let's see, if I remember correctly, the room is straight down this corridor. Beating Final Fantasy XIII to the punch, are we? Oh, you know what? This this conversation right here is actually plot relevant as well, but but in a minor way. Is it another red door, oh, like that. They're all out of order. Outside of uh, all the characters dealing with their trauma, it's got a lot of other things, um, other themes in, in it, um, like, like I said, uh, Christian Gnosticism, a lot of psychology. Um, there, there's a lot uh, written on uh, Nietzsche's books as well, like the title of the, the games, obviously, like this one is Terminator's um, They're all books written by Nietzsche. You can go read those on your own time. Um, I, I don't really know how to explain them. There's some interesting stuff written in them. Like, my first time I read them, I was like, man, this guy is an asshole. But I, I think I was just misinterpreting it at the time. Oh, I got an email from Yuki. I wonder what it is.
Sheena, how are you doing? Thank you for the MWS, the weapon you used in your left hand during battle. The aid for the test we ran alongside Cosmos and the Cephalon. I moved one step forward with my magnificent plans thanks to you. Now the only thing I need is a real test. So I've sent you a real MWS. I should reach you soon. The Gnosis attack now, they're so dead. Doing these tests provides a bit of aerobic exercise and may even have some weight loss effects. So in a way, it's like you're killing two birds with one stone. Please make sure you pick it up when it arrives. You. Yes, I lost 3 kilograms. You see? It's just like I said, I, the apple diet really works. Oh, I was just talking about. What the hell's the apple diet? A magnificent plan. What in the world is that girl planning? Is that it's just like eating apples? That seems incredibly unhealthy. There, there's so much other stuff that you've got to put in your body to, to maintain it. Alright, where do I go? Can't do that yet. Uh, that, that, that's, yeah, I just don't like the beginning parts of this game. Once it gets going, it's pretty fun, but the beginning's kind of a drag. Hello, you rang? My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy, too, after all. So, what's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. Let's see. I don't know what uh, Xion's expertise, uh, you know, field of expertise actually is, because I can tell you this much, we don't have anything like this uh, at, our, at our current technology level. Let's see, I just need to check the reality lying on the maintenance bolts, right? Yes, thank you for your help. How is that? It's just a temporary fix, though. Yes, I cannot express it appropriately, but I feel like some weight has been lifted. Everything feels a bit brighter. Thank you very much. Good. If the world looks brighter to you, then you're fine. Yeah, full-time counselor, blah blah blah, long missions are stressful. Besides, these guys are just bored. What the hell are you talking about? They look like they've been around for a while, Pete. That should do it. Well, do you have any business or anything? No, I'm fine. We're a combat model, so even our training costs heavy wear and tear. Regular tune-ups like this are very much appreciated. No, 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 I didn't really do much. Huh, nothing seems particularly unusual. Are you not feeling well? I've been studying fables and proverbs, but I am unable to use them properly, and I'm always being laughed at. Huh, but your linguistic center doesn't seem to have any abnormalities. I see. I must be just. I must be just thinking too much. They do say better safe than courage, so I figured I had nothing to lose in being overly cautious. Say, do you know any other proverbs? Others: casting food before spot, adding insult to perjury, first meat upon, first meat prey upon the field. Where did you learn those? A soldier in all his world proverbs taught me. Is there something wrong with me after all? Well, first I think you should change teachers. Yeah, unfortunately I have to talk to all the realities. Okay, your problems are stable. I don't see any particular problems. Understood. Then I'll return to my duties. Just sitting here on this table. Wait a minute. I think you could express a bit more joy. Maybe your emotional expression isn't for right. I'm in reality the for combat, but really such fluctuations in emotions are unnecessary for my duties. That's true, but... But you know the phrase, 
thank you is the first step of communicating. You understand? Understood. Thank you. Is there something else necessary? Um, lately I find functional impediments occurring when communicating with a certain person. My pulse becomes rapid, perspiration increases, and I become unable to articulate well. Ah, that's odd. I wonder if it's an OS bug. It doesn't hinder you in normal duties? No, as long as I do not come into contact with that person. The abnormalities do not seem to appear. What could it be? Is that person spreading a virus or something? Oh, this is bugging me the fuck. Like... Oh, I wish I could get a better look at this picture because that eyeball was just... I was like, what the hell, man? I guess that's the, the reality on the table? That the girl? I'm sure, Vector, you must have a much larger and more sophisticated tuning department. It's just that I can see all of this, this detail now. In the army, the realians are becoming a more vital part of the force, but we are still way behind it when it comes to maintenance and tuning. Talk to me. Huh, I wonder if it's wrong. Your brainwaves seem to be chaotic. Um, ever since I was assigned to the word Glinde, I haven't been the same. I have slowly lost mental composure, and my body has begun to manifest minute spasms. Ah, uh, shoot with these waves. Maybe fear of battle? Fear of fighting? I was developed for combat. How could that be? Uh, don't, don't worry about it. It happens to the best of us. It's okay. Don't worry about it. There's nothing wrong with it. The emotion called fear is natural to all living things. A reality designed for combat. Feeling fear? Even the greatest, stronger soldier feels fear and terror. To conquer your fears is key to become stronger. But I am a reality. That doesn't matter. We just seem as us humans. We just happen to be born differently, that's all. We just born differently. Not built, born differently. Well, I've made some adjustments. But please contact 3rd Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. I'll be sure to do so. You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm glad I could be of help. Besides, I always wanted to work in the 3rd Division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. But Vector's first R&D division has the best researchers in the organization. Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want a transfer? Oh, yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the 1st Division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Who knows, maybe they're right. Besides, I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? Lieutenant Virgil. Their stench. What? It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. Can't you smell it? It makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you? <gasps> That's enough. You got your orders from the Lieutenant Commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance combat support between the eggs and the new model Realians. And yet your... Support? Huh. In a battle against them? The last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested, weapons-grade Realians. Um... 
Excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? You're treating equipment like people? Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of Realians when it was ratified in 4763. What a load of crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity, but in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons-grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? <sighs> Virgil! Why are you... Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. And this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. Just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Is he... a DME addict? So that's uh, one of the things they don't really explain what a DME addict is. Um, you have to go into the, the game's database to learn My apologies, what they're talking Ms. about Uzuki. sometimes. He wasn't always like that. But then something happened. What happened? Is he an old acquaintance? We were classmates at the military academy, and I've been stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. I see. So... That's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to 2nd Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake and theirs as well. Oh no! I forgot I had to report to the bridge. <sighs> Sorry, I'll come back to check on them later. Bye! Yeah, so I, I didn't mention him, but I did mention, you know, all the characters have trauma. They, they have trauma based on something called the Milsha Conflict, which is a major plot point in this game. And, you know, I'm not to really spoil the market in that, in that way. Um, but, like, everything goes back to that. So, um, basically, there, there's this quote in one of uh, the books, I can't remember what the book is, but it talks about this idea of internal currents, and it's a very short passage, it's, it's not long at all, and it's, it's like, you just, just like, just think about somebody who had to do something over and over again, you know, 
that's that's basically their life. At how uh, how much mental fortitude would you have to have to, to be able to go through that? Just doing like in a in a time travel context, you know, you're doing things over and over again. But you know, they they kind of use it as a um, device to support trauma in this game. You know, just doing the same thing over and over again. So you know, it does come in and in it another way as well, but uh, that's, a, that's a, a, a discussion for another time. Uh, how do I trigger this? Alright, there's an email... Hi, right, so starting the database service. Uh, Miss Suzuki, thank you for your recent, uh, recent subscription for the Megabyte Stores database services. This is to inform you that we have successfully secured a database domain for you to use. This service it utilizes the inspector function on your portable connection here to acquire specific information only and stores it regularly to our central server. We specify Gnosis and Cure as categories for your safe data. You'll need to save the database plugin attached to this email in order to use the service. Plugins are blah blah blah. By request, the database plugin will be automatically saved with this email is sent to so I don't actually have to do it. There's other ones where I have to like actually uh, press the button to do it. If I don't, uh, I'll miss it. That can cause all sorts of problems. Um, I think I will go into the database and uh, check for one thing, and that's going to be the B of the attic. The fact that you received email from the Omega Byte Store must be You'll be able to use the Omega da Human Database in the near future. What do you mean in the near future? And use it now. Very perceptive. By the way, why did you select keyword and Gnosis as your databases? You have a reason, don't you? Of course. The reason why I thought of using keyword is because I could file all the keywords that you want in conversation in the database. That way, I could always go back and check the detailed description later. I'm pretty familiar with most technical terms, but sometimes it's worth that I go through the definitions of one here. Oh, I see. I selected Gnosis just in case. There is a possibility that I'll have to fight them in the future, right? I agree with you. You probably won't be able to get by evading battles with Gnosis. On top of that, you may be placed in a situation where you have to fight the same type of gnosis more than once. Right, that's why I thought the best thing to do was gather data on them. No, she's just metagaming here. It's like, you know what, she is just fucking cheating at this point. Alright, so... What are you uh, in to access it? Okay, yeah, there, there's the database, so there's there's different things. Uh, a lot of thing that I can't do right yet, I know what it is, but I, I can't do it, so... This will just show you all the doses that you fought. Uh, I believe I can zoom in, what is that, it's an R2? And you can see that it has 021 escape tools chest. I'm not sure what that means. It's R2. And they have all these interesting features on them. If you look at them. That's uh, one guy nuts. Oh, I think I already missed one. <laughs> Who's that boss? Yeah, and you know what I needed to be doing is using analyze. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start over. Um, no, I wanted to go into keywords because I wanted to look up the the E of the attic. So yeah, they they don't uh, actually tell you what the E of the attic is. So you have to look it up. All right. In addition to which, we're using also the consumption of gallium body tissue. Blood vessels carry the ingested tissue, mainly from the central nervous system to the brain, which results in neural structural changes. Physical and mental states are then altered, but occasionally this results in death when a reaction occurs. Once the brain has undergone an alteration, 
genetic must continue to assume new reality and tissue to avoid withdrawal symptoms, thus necessitating a drug dependent intervention. There is, as of yet, no complete cure since the consumer reality and tissue grows and mutates along the host neural networks. In some quarters of the galaxy beyond the reaches of the Federation's control, there's an active black market for reality and tissue as a new form of recreation for narcotics. The external symptoms of this addic addiction include burning and glorification of the skin. So, what you saw on Virgil's face was uh, what they gave away why they had a uh, big close up. But you wouldn't know if you didn't go to the database. And I think that's like really the only thing that I had to go to the database to figure out. Other than me going in there and be like, yeah, this is definitely wrong. They didn't know what they're talking about. Um, but it gets to some of the physics stuff. But you know, that that's just uh, anime. It's uh, very, very um, anime-ish. Very influenced by anime, I should say. This driller. Driller, did you say? I'm really skilled at using the drill crate, so much so I wish the drill council would acknowledge. Of course, Susubu Hori and our equals with no driller. Don't ever confuse me for a run of the mill drill worker. Um, Mr. Driller? Mr. I mean, Mr. Driller? What is it, Xion? I, I have to get going. She could be her shepherd him, be shepherded him. Before Commander Shepard was a thing. Ah, that doesn't matter at all right now. The folks who work for constant accident and they can't work because the wreckage is in the way. That's where my drill crane and I come in. But even with an awesome driller like me, this is one heck of a tough job for just one guy. It's tough. Real tough for just one guy. That's for you, my cute little Shion, coming to the picture. You answer my drill call. This sounds so wrong. Am I right? You're right, Archie. Well, you'll do it, won't you? You'll help my noble cause, won't you? I'll give it a try. I may, may not be able to fully appreciate drilling like you do. Yeah, you take over my drill then, okay? First of all, teach you how to operate the drill crane. Listen closely, operating your drill is not about reflexes or clever techniques. It's all about heart and the soul within. Passion for your drill will allow you to operate the drill as you wish. Boy, he's really gone off deep. Now, I'll show you how to operate the drill. Listen carefully and get this all down, okay? First, I'll explain vertical view. Press the square button, and it will start moving vertically. Let go, and it will stop right at that spot. Even if you keep pressing the button, it will stop once it's reached the edge of the rail. Before moving the drill, you can move the camera freely using a left analog stick. You can also switch between cameras using the R2 button. You'll need to switch cameras to determine the drill's precise location, so be sure to make good use of it. Moving the drill is a one shot deal. Operate the buttons carefully. When you're done moving vertically, you will then boot the crane horizontally. Switch cameras using the R2 button and use the square button to move the drill, just like you did when moving the crane vertically. Of course, this is also a one shot deal that you can't do over. When you're done moving vertically and horizontally, the drill will do work on its own. The drill will come down and destroy anything under it. Obviously, nothing will happen if nothing's there. This, you can always do it over. If you want to quit, the crane will stop and press the X button. That's everything you need to know about the drill. Well, what do you think? Simple, right? I think I get it, sort of. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the drill thing. Um, this will un unlock the uh, drill cast for it now. I do need to uh, realign the camera and stuff because the, the default camera uh, sucks for this. And I don't want to use it because yeah, if you go from like the default to uh, multiple parallax and everything, it's gonna fuck up the shot so you, you won't know what you are. And also, drills are actually a big thematic thing in, in mecha and anime. So many of them have them, and it um, actually happened before uh, Girl of the God came out. So, sorry to break it to you, to uh, Girl of the God fans, but it's not a Girl of the God fans. So, I actually get unlimited tries here, but later on, I will unlock a mini game. Which one allows you to get items from it? Well, so I actually do this right now. I might have uh, gotten that wrong. Things on the on the far end are 
very hard to get. Ah, I might have missed that one. Nope, I got it. This is the drill that will pierce the heavens and everything. But yeah, I think this game came out on either 2002 or 2003, so this came out like four years before uh, Girl of Dawn came to me. It's like I finally got it done. Not too shabby, I knew you had a passion for Girl of Shion. Never giving up, even when you miss. That's the most important quality in a driller. Uh, well, thanks. Thanks to you, everything is nice and tidy again. Here, a token of my thanks. It's a drill passport. Drill passport obtained. Yeah, I definitely want to get that because I can get some goodies out of it. Go ahead, it's yours. Alright, I got a bed kit too. You get through this door, but. There's just so much, uh, so much game I can do. I actually think I will, uh, you know, end this one right here, even though I'm not really ending it. Um, no one will know the difference if I just uh, come back to this another day, so whatever. <laughs>